Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. David Cameron is in trouble again for having said that if the leaders' debates include two of the regional parties in the United Kingdom, they should include regional parties from Northern Ireland as well. Now, I support this. It is fair. If you're including some regional parties, you should include them all, in the same way that I support his view that if you are including the United Kingdom Independence Party, you should also include other parties who have a similar showing in Parliament. However, this in no way means that I believe he is doing it for ethical and high-minded reasons. Given the Conservatives' poor record on working for the benefit of the people of England, working for the benefit of humanity, I could quite easily believe that David Cameron is scared rigid of facing people with ethics, facing people who have strong beliefs, rather than confining himself to the company of those who will believe absolutely anything and do absolutely anything you want if there's a job in it for them later or an envelope full of cash. Not that I'm in any way suggesting that David Cameron's sole motivation is having a nice comfortable job with a corporation after he stops being Prime Minister, or that in any way the vast number of benefits and freebies he receives from various people have in any way influenced his politics. He could well be a strong-minded person. He could well have ethics that he has, for reasons known only to himself, been concealing from everyone. In the same way that Ed Miliband might well have a competent and coherent strategy, George Osborne might actually like human beings, and Nick Clegg might actually have some strong opinions that he's prepared to defend. But unfortunately, their policy of going forward on the basis that, well, we shouldn't really strongly commit to doing things that need to be doing because someone might dislike it. We should be anodyne, simple, basic. We should be not really open to attack for believing that things need to be done. We should just kind of trickle along. Has left them in the situation where the leaders' debates against people who actually believe we should work for a goal will place them in a situation of either abandoning their basic strategy of not really alienating anyone or appearing like they are ineffectual, kind of middle road, useless, not really purposeful politicians. And if it wasn't David Cameron objecting to these things, I could quite easily see it being one of the others. After all, none of them really have the strength of character of Natalie Bennett, the focus on dealing with people at a local level of Nicola Sturgeon, or the sheer, I don't actually believe in anything that's good for you, but I'm really likableness of Nigel Farage. But maybe we'll all fall apart. Maybe we'll decide that Adopting the idea of televised debates is too much effort because it involves career politicians stating strong opinions rather than sound bites. But we've got a sort of 90 odd days to find out where it's going. So, fingers crossed, we'll still be there to find out how it went. Toodaloo!